guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. It is time again for Friday Favorites and Flops. You guys are catching me before I pin my bangs back. <laughs> it's actually pretty early in the day right now. So, um, yeah, I trying to like work with the hair, but honestly, I'm still not like entirely loving the do on me. I just feel a lot more comfortable when the bangs are out of the way because like, I just, I hate like things being in my face. Um, so anyway, <laughs> um, I can tell that I, I need to grow this do out a little bit. I know a lot of you guys totally love it, but honestly, um, I don't know that I love it on me and really, truly right. What matters the most is whether you really like something. <laughs> Just feel like it accentuates my round face a little bit more than I care. So anyway, um, hope you all had a great week. I had a really nice week. Stella is um, getting really excited about Halloween and we've been talking about it all week. And so she is, of course, going to be Elsa. Um, I'll try to get some footage of her in her costume or at least put it on Snapchat and Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on um, Snapchat yet, I do have the information down below but basically just look for Mr. Kong's mom mom I try to make sure that across all of like my social media stuff it's Mr. Kong's mom a lot of you have asked me also just because I thought this would be a good place to like put it out there since most people watch Friday favorites and flops but I do not have a um a Facebook page that is public <laughs> for um, like YouTube stuff. So my Facebook page is what I use for my friends and family. And um, I use the Instagram and now Snapchat to, to be able to share a little bit more of my life with you there. So if you guys are curious, that's where you can follow me. Um, on Instagram, it's Mr. Kong's mom as well. So let's dive right into it. I have a home fragrance pick for you guys. And this is actually a Goose Creek candle. You guys have not heard me talking about Goose Creek a ton because I just recently made my first order from them. This is their butter cookie. Okay, so this smelled really good on cold sniff, but when you burn this, it's like a hundred times better. Like, it honestly just smells like you are baking sugar cookies in your house. Like, it's Christmas time and you're baking sugar cookies. It is so authentic and beautiful and just like perfect for this time of year and throughout the holidays. If you have never tried Goose Creek, I would say give this company a try because they really do have a really good quality product and they have sales quite frequently. So it would probably behoove you to go to their website and sign up for their email list because a lot of times they do um, like 20% off sales or they'll do, you know, like six for 70. There's lots of different specials that they put out. So it's, it's really worth signing up for the emails. I chose to do the large jars because I kind of figured the stuff that I got I would really like, and I wanted to be able to compare them to Yankee. And I can say that even though the packaging is basically exactly the same, the performance is vastly different. Goose Creek has a much better performance. They do use a paraffin wax, um, just like Yankee does, but these are just so much stronger. Like I can actually smell this candle throughout the entire downstairs of my house. I am going to do an in-depth review of it. I will have that up probably next weekend, I think. So anyway, this is fabulous. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be kind of like what? <laughs> so my fragrance that I've been wearing all week is actually the Flower Bomb from Victor Rolf. Um, Victor and, and Rolf. <laughs> so I showed this in my Sephora haul and I was like, Meh, you know, it's okay. Honestly, the more that I wore this this week and kept getting compliments on it, the more I started to like it. It's a very spicy, deep oriental type scent. It is not for someone who likes fresh, fruity, like super young, girly type scents. This is a much more mature fragrance, but I really do like it. Am I going to purchase the full size? Probably not. But for those of you that like the same types of fragrances as I do, which is 
Um, I really love the Miss Dior Cherie. I love Stella by Stella McCartney. Um, the Calvin Klein Euphoria. Um, <laughs> the M by Mariah Carey. I've mentioned that a few times. If you like those oriental spicy type scents, you would probably actually really like this. So I just thought I'd mention it. I have a skincare favorite that I will share with you. I've shown this before. This is the Heritage Store Rose Water and Glycerin. This is basically just a rose water spray. And I've been using this on my face again every single morning before I put on my Paula's Choice um, SPF. And this just helps to provide just a nice layer of moisture before applying the SPF on top. It just sort of helps to soothe my skin a little bit. During the fall and winter months when we start to turn on the heat in the house, if I combine that with my usual like retinol treatments, it does tend to leave my skin a little flakier and drier than normal. It certainly doesn't make the oiliness go away. <laughs> but um, you know, I can't my skin can be a little bit more flaky and I find that this just helps to soothe that and sort of calms it down and helps my makeup go on really, really nicely. So anyway, if you've never tried this one, I got this off of Vitacost and it's really, really nice. So I'll I'll link it down below. I'll link all this stuff down below. I actually wore some lashes for my anniversary. I don't wear lashes very often, but I do really like these from Kiss. These are the Look So Natural Shy style. This is what they look like. They looked very, very natural on my eyes. These are really easy to apply because the band is really flexible and actually pretty thin. I do have some glue still on there. That's why the band looks maybe a little bit thicker. It's basically just the glue that I forgot to peel off of there. But these are really nice, and I find these at Walgreens, and um, they're pretty affordable. I mean, I think I paid like $4.99 for these or something, but as far as lashes go, these are really comfortable for me to wear. They don't like poke me in the eye. Um, I just, I really like this style, and I thought they looked perfect with my makeup look that day. So I'm not someone that wears lashes very frequently, but when I do, I do really like these Kiss lashes. I think I'm getting sick. Like, my throat kind of feels, like, tight, and um, it doesn't hurt yet, but you know how, like, when you can feel something coming on and you're just like, ah, <laughs> that's totally what I'm feeling today. So if I sound like I'm struggling a little bit, I think that I am. I didn't realize I was. <laughs> But I'm struggling. Okay, this is something that I need, think you guys need to put on your Sephora VIB list. This is the Buxom Lip Cream in Dolly, of course. I'm actually wearing this on my lips today. I normally share just the Buxom Lip Gloss with you guys. This is the lip cream. So this does not have any, um, it doesn't have any shimmer to it. It's just a beautiful mauve creamy mauve. It's absolutely stunning. I am totally going to grab another one during VIB probably because I can already tell that I'm going to go through this before the next VIB sale. <laughs> and if I can get it for 20% off, I would like to do that. So um, should I? Probably not because I have a hundred other lip glosses that I should probably be using up. But honestly, I love and I I love the way this looks. I love the way this feels on my lips. I just love these Buxom products. I really, really do. The blush that I've been wearing pretty much all of this week and that I wish I could stop wearing so I could use some other things, but I just can't, is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in Your Love is King. I, you know what? I think I actually like this better than the Becca Nightingale, which is something that I have on my VIB list. I'm actually thinking that I like this better and make it the full size of this. I know that sounds crazy because when am I going to finish this blush? Probably not anytime soon. But if I keep wearing it the way that I do, I might actually finish this in the next like four months. <laughs> it's such a beautiful, beautiful plum color that is so just natural. I'm wearing it again today. You can build it up to have a lot more intensity or you can just put it on lightly like the way that I did today. And it's just the perfect flush of like plum for your cheeks in the fall and the winter. And I feel like that's the prettiest color. 
um, during this time of the year is kind of like a plummy shade, so I think this one's really worth checking out. Okay, I have a new brow product to share with you guys, and this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Volumizing Brow Powder in the color gray. So my hair is obviously, um, it's mostly gray at this point, and um, for those of you that are new to my channel, that's on purpose. <laughs> I'm not, like, I'm, I'm just kind of tired of coloring my hair, so I just decided to, like, let it go a little bit more natural. Here's the thing, I can always color it again in the future, right? But I don't see myself wanting to do that because this is just so easy. I don't have to worry about my roots anymore. I was having to touch up my roots basically every like four to six weeks and that gets old fast. Um, and it also gets expensive even if you're doing it with drugstore products. Having to buy that like box of color once a month, they're somewhere between like 10 and $12. So multiply that by 12. <laughs> That's a lot of money a year just on like box color from the drugstore. So I just honestly, I feel so much better just having gray hair and just being done with coloring. Anyway, back to this. I needed a new brow powder because the one that I was using, and I'll show you what I just came from. This is the brow, oh, sorry, the brow box in Beige Betty. This is actually discontinued from Urban Decay. But I was using this color, and you can see that's much more of like a taupe, and it was okay, but there's a big difference between the gray and the taupe, and it just, it goes better with my hair, and I've just really been loving this. It's really easy to use. I've been using it in combination with my dip brow uh, pomade from Anastasia for a little bit more of a dramatic brow, but I can actually just wear this by itself, and it adheres really nicely to my skin and to my brow hairs. And it stays all day. It doesn't oxidize. It just is great. This is a wonderful brow powder. They do obviously have other colors available, but Tarte is one of the few companies that actually seems to actually do like a legitimate gray. So I really like this, and I think I'm going to stick with this as long as I'm sporting this do here. So anyway, so that's it. That's all that I have to share with you guys this week. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, that you have fun trick-or-treating if you're going out with your kids, and um, I will see you guys. I think I think I have a couple of videos pre-recorded for this weekend, so we'll see. But um, yeah, have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!